welcome back to my channel my name is Leia and this is budget with Leia today we're gonna to be doing my cash stuffing for the first paycheck of April um, so this is the money right here and I'm actually pretty excited because it feels like so much more money I am debt free so all that money that was going to my car payment and the extra uh, money that I was putting towards my car is now I, I can keep that so this is gonna be a total of one thousand three hundred and four dollars that I need to stuff into my cash wallet and then my sinking funds although 500 of that is in this prop because I didn't want to pull all the money out so let's start off with my wallet okay so groceries is gonna get $75 so that is 20 40 60 70 and then five ones so one, two, three, four, five. So 20, 40, 60, 65, 70, 71, two, three, four, five. So I upped my bi-weekly money for groceries. Hopefully that works for me. If I need more, I will stuff more. Gas is not gonna get anything. Spending is going to be getting $70 as well. And that's gonna be 20, 40, 50, 55, 60, 65, and then five ones. So one, two, three, four, five. <clears throat> so 20, 40, 50, 55, 60, 65, 66, 7, 8, 9, 70. So that should be good for me as well. Eating out is going to get $40, so that is a 20, 20, 30, 35, and then 5, 1, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so 20, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, so $40, that should be good for me, and then miscellaneous should be just getting $5. So one, two, three, four, five. My cat is roaming around, so you'll hear her. She's trying to get my attention. And that is my wallet. Okay, so next up is my sinking funds. So let's start off with Mateo's envelope. So he is getting $25. There she is. Uh, $25. So that is the usual 20 and 5. Oh, and 5. So he now has 1,100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 95, and 200. 1,200 for him. Let's see, next up is Isaac. Isaac is also going to get the same amount. So a 20 and a 5. So 1,000. 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 95, and 200. 1,200 for him. Uh, carb maintenance is going to get $40. So let's see, a 20 and then some fives should be enough. Two, three, four. Okay. So now this should be five six seven eight so eight hundred twenty forty sixty eighty nine nine hundred and twenty twenty five thirty thirty five and forty so nine forty i'm almost to that one thousand dollar mark for car maintenance car insurance is just gonna get twenty dollars here so that is gonna be a twenty so it has one two three 300 in the bank, 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 5, 10. Is that correct? 5, 10? Yes. Um, next up is Christmas. Christmas is going to get $40. So I'm going to do two 20s there. Oh. Money is flying all over the place. So that's one, two, three hundred. 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 40, 50, 60. So 460 for Christmas. Let's see, pet care. 
That's gonna get ten dollars. So five and ten. So one, two, three, four, five, and ten. Or <laughs> one, two, three, four, four hundred, five, and ten. So four ten. I almost said five ten. Okay, next up is family. They're just gonna get ten dollars. So five and ten. So 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 25, 30, 35, and 40. 140 for family. And that's just for going out with family, family, family adventures, or if for whatever reason we need to do any small repairs around the house, um, I'll pull from there as well. Uh, next up is occasions. Occasions has $10 and it's just going to get five and 10. So that's 10, 15, and 20. So I don't think I need anything anytime soon, but I'm going to build that up once again. All right, next up is savings. So savings is going to get $10. So five and 10. So it has five, six, 700, 20, 40, 60, 70, 75, 80, 85. So 785. Health is going to get 10 as well. 5 and 10. So it has 5, 6, 700, 5, 10, and 15. So 715. I'm actually doing this cash stuffing while my nephew is asleep. Which is why I'm trying to kind of rush a little. Um, next up is health, and that's I'm gonna get five and ten. So five, six, seven, twenty, forty, sixty, seventy, seventy-five, eighty, eighty-five. Um, last time I was trying to film a video, I got interrupted, so I'm trying to kind of hurry up a little. Although I do have quite a little bit of quite a lot of sticky funds, so we'll see how long I can actually take. Um, moving, so moving has. 200 and I'm gonna add 5 and 10 so that should bring it to 210 next up is purchases and that is also get 5 and 10 it has 20 40 60 81 20 40 60 82 10 15 20 so two, uh, 220 so the rice cooker that I keep mentioning actually went down to $160 and I saw the price and I was like, great, I'm going to buy it as soon as I get home or something. I think that was my thought process. And then I forgot. And then the following day, I was like, okay, I'll buy it today. And I looked and it went back up to 210 <laughs> And I'm like, I don't know why it's going up so like randomly. So I'm going to keep waiting. If it went back down and it went back up, I, it's likely going to go back down again. So I'm going to wait and cross your fingers. I really want to buy it. I keep, I keep saying I want to buy it and I haven't spent this money because I do want to put that money towards that rice cooker. Uh, tech is going to get 10. So 5 and 10. So that's 500, 20, 30, 35, and 40. So 540. I'm halfway to my goal for a new phone. Uh, actuary stuff. So that is going to get 5 and 10 as well. So that is 1, 2, 300, 20, 30, 20, 25, and 30. So for 30, right? No, 330. Next up is, okay, so investments is the one that I'm actually going to be taking out. I'll take out this one. Okay, so investments. Um, I decided to open a Roth IRA and deposit this $200 into that. So that's, uh, and so moving forward, I'm also going to just automatically transfer money from my paycheck to my Roth IRA, but that's, I haven't decided how much I will be, um, transferring because I will be changing, starting as soon as I finish my emergency fund, I'm going to change my 401, 401k contributions and my HSA contribution. And then after that, then I'm going to figure out how much I need. I want to put to my Roth IRA because I do want to max it out but this first year so 2023 I might not be able to max it out but hopefully next year I will be 
uh, closer to maxing it out every year moving forward. That's the goal. So that's going to be set to the side. Um, vacation is going to be a 10. So 5 and 10. So that brings me to 500, 505 and 510. <clears throat> so the investment money didn't necessarily go away. It's just not part of my sinking funds anymore. And then new car is not going to get anything. So we can move on. All right, next up is YouTube. And I did announce my giveaway winner. And they reached out to me on Instagram. And I did just let them know what they need to do to just verify that's it, you know, that's who they are. And once I do that, then I can uh, mail them their prize. Um, okay, so YouTube is going to get 10. So 5 and 10. So that brings me to 20, 40, 50, 55, 60, 65, and 70. Nails is going to get 10 as well. I wanted to give some of these funds some some of these funds some money because I haven't been giving in them any money recently. So 20, 40, 60, 65, and 70. Gaming. Is also going to get 10, so 5 and 10. So that is 20, 40, 60, 70, 75, 80, 85. I think that's right. Yes, 85. Disney. Disney is going to get 10 as well. So 5 and 10. So it has 500 in the bank. 20, 40, 50, 55, 60, and 65. So 5, 65. Let's see, next up is Black Friday. Black Friday is going to get 13, so 5, oh, 10, 11, 12, and 13. So, oops, it has 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 95, 100, 5, 6, 7, 8. So $108. So I'm a third of the way there. And then Halloween is going to get 10. So 5 and 10. So that's 20, 40, 50, 55, and 60. All right, that's it for this binder. Now we can move on to our emergency fund and savings challenges. Okay, so... Let's start off with my emergency fund, which is in here. So my emergency fund currently has $6,000 and I'm going to be adding a total of $750. So what I did for that is I did the 500, 600, did the 20, so 20, 40, 60, 81. So that's 700, 720, 40, and then 45 and 50. So that should be correct. Hopefully I have enough change for savings challenges. So that's 500, 600, 20, 40, 60, 80, 7, 20, 40, 45, and 50. So that's 750. Put this all together. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4, uh, 4,500, 5,000, 5,500, 6,000. So that's 6,000, uh, 1, 2, 3, 6,300, 400, 20, 40, 60, 80, 500, 20, 40, 60, 80, 600, so 6,600, 6,620, 40, 60, 80, 700, 6,720, 30, 40, 45, 50, perfect, 6,000. $750. So I need to get new placeholders, to be fair, to at least uh, take some of the, to take some of the 5,000, the 1,000 uh, placeholders out. But I will get to that eventually. Because this envelope is getting pretty thick in here, which is nice. It's a good thing. 
Okay, so next up is my savings challenges. So this should be $41. So 20, 25, 30, 31, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 41. Okay, so that is correct. Hopefully I have changed for what I want to do. Okay, so we're going to start off with my, actually, I want to start off with the savings, the scratch off, because that's always unpredictable. Okay, so we're going to just do the one in the middle. All right, that is a 10. So we're going to do 10. And this is from Amethyst Treasures on Etsy or Amethyst Budgets on YouTube, if you want to check out her channel. So there goes 10 already. And this is a total of $100. So that is reasonable because I want to do smaller savings challenges. Uh, next up is, let's do the Pokemon challenge. I really like this one. I like doing the, the dice. Okay, so I'm going to roll a D8. Okay, so um, let's see what we get. We got a 3 and a 2. So let's do that. So 3 and 2. Oh, I can never write a 3 properly. Okay, 3 and 2 is 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, hmm... I don't know if I'll have enough change. Let's see. So that brings us to 20, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52. Let's, let's stop there just because I don't have that much money for um, actually savings challenges. So I am focusing on my emergency fund. So let's do, so there's some quick exchange in here just to get smaller numbers and let's do the 15 envelope savings challenge and this is from sad budgets oh and the pokemon challenge is from carol cash so let's see what we can do do you want to do 12 or do you want to do a smaller one let's do oh my goodness i don't know let's do the 12 just try and go in order i technically have enough so 10 11 and 12 so that gives me 20, 30, 40, 50, 51, 2, 3, 4. So that is $54 oh, for this challenge. And then, oops. Next up, I can do the mini D20. And for this one, I can do... I have... One, two, three, I have $14. So I can do the $14 one. Or I can roll. You know what? I'm going to roll again. <laughs> I just like rolling for uh, the Pokemon challenge. Okay. There's a four and a seven. No. A four and a three, which equals seven. So five, six, and seven. Okay, so that is 20, 40, 45, 50, 51, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So 59, and I'm going to exchange some of the fives, or some of the ones, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That should be the same, so 50, 55, yep, yeah. okay. Hmm, now I don't have that much ones left, so see what I can do for the uh, D20 challenge. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is there a seven in here? There's a five and a two. Um, uh, yeah, let's do that. Let's do a five and a two. So five and the two. And then we can put the rest of the money in here. All right, so that's 20, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 2, 3, 4, 
Okay, so $44 for the D20 challenge. And this challenge is from 40 Plus Life. Um, and the total is 97 So I have 44 Is that what I said? 44 So I have about $50 left on this one. So that is nice. This one, I'm not sure how much it's going to be. But I know I have at least $50 in there. And then... This one should be a total of 120 Okay, that's good. We are making progress. So... The next few times my savings challenges are probably going to get around that amount, so 40 to $50, because that's, like I said, I'm trying to focus on my emergency fund, because that's my main priority right now. And after that, I can have a bit more fun with savings challenges and then investing as well. So you'll see um, my investing progress in my net worth videos as that goes along. I don't want to give any investing advice, because honestly, everyone's at different stages in their life. If you're closer to retirement age, you're going to have to invest differently than someone who is either my age or in their early 20s. If you want any knowledge about investing and things like that, I think uh, Mommy Trader is a good option to go in and she'll give you... There's tons of videos of, that she has on her channel that will educate you on that kind of stuff. And I'm actually watching some of her videos now that I started my Roth IRA and changing all my investments around. Because I do want to focus on that moving forward, as well as my general savings. So that is my cash stuffing for this video. So hope you, hopefully you guys had a wonderful weekend. And if you are currently living in the Oklahoma, Texas area, just watch out for those uh, tornado thunderstorms coming up during the season. As right as of right now, we have a thunderstorm warning with possible tornadoes. So we'll see if that actually does you know, goes anywhere, or if it's just going to be a bit rainy. So they said possible chance of hail, which I don't want that. You know, I just paid off my car. I don't need hail damage. I don't want to do that. But anyway, so thank you guys so much for uh, for watching this video. Stay safe, and I'll see you next time. Bye!